Okay, Dark Hand here. The way this works is the axe is movable. So you have three animations. These are bento holds. Now you can see I have my Vista AO on. And this axe is compatible with AOs because it only affects a couple of the joints. So we'll go through them. So we have an over the shoulder pose. And we have a forward pose. And we have that pose. Now, let's look at one of the options here. These three buttons. That's your AO on and off. And that scrolls those three holds working along with your AO. 100% AO compatible. The second button next to AO is your position save. And what that means is your axe. Because you're going to find everybody's different size. So let's just pretend the axe was too big and we, we needed to make it smaller and so we put it like that and then we, when we're done this is all just one piece you hit save now that's save now watch this when we go to that position again it's going to save those coordinates of anywhere to see how the size is back to small it will save wherever you position it and wherever you rotate it um, example if you were to rotate it like that um, and save it we go that that messed up thing so you go, oh wow I made a mistake um, now remember the axe attaches to your hand from the HUD it's not something you wear it comes out of the HUD so you get where you want it and you hit save and then you hit that it goes back to that say position and size so we can do that with all three poses and the whole idea of that is we're all different sizes and shapes so we want this to look good though <clears throat> and we want it to work with our AO so if you wanted to turn AO off you click it and it turn it on and off that's all that is the button next to it and the one with the that's attached now say for some reason you detach your axe you hit the button and it attaches again hit that and it'll go back <clears throat> so and then check this out it will make sure it's the same small it doesn't matter what axe those coordinates save in the HUD so when the axe attaches it says hey attached to and at this size and this position <laughs> so it saves all that in there. you don't have to do it per axe if you press the mouse button it has three attack animations and these are just great for role play. There's no damage in this. But I added that for fun. And that's just on the mouse click button. <clears throat> and that, once again, is AO compatible. Now, you'll find some of them, especially the spin around one, might, some P4s might override it. Doubtful, though. Uh, Vista's pretty stringent, and it works well with that. Now, we have three throwing animations, and that's with the little axes at the bottom. Right? When you push one, Close your axe, and it always comes back to your hand. Um, we have three different types. And that one. And those are your types. Easy enough. And then this is opens and closes the HUD. So this is really simple to use. So once it's on and you set your coordinates, you know, it works with your AO. Um, like I would probably sit around and fill around with it a little bit better on my hand right here. But uh, and save it. And that's all all my little throwing weapons work the same. Uh, there's several parts. When you wear these, there's two parts. Gotta wear them both. Now when you wear this, you won't see the axe, so don't worry about it. You only see it when you hit attach, and then you'll see it. Uh, that's a different part of the system. That's it. You just wear those two things, open your HUD, make your adjustments, hit save for each one. I would first go through that. I would do each one, and make sure when you're doing that, you turn your AO off. Because I've gotten to right where I think I have it where I want it, and then the AO kicks in and it changes the hold. So turn your AO off when you're adjusting your poses. Then turn it back on when you're done. And then remember, these are for your holds. The little ones underneath them, one, two, and three, are your throw animations. And then you have AO on, off, 
save position, and attach. That's it. And then if you click the HUD itself, it minimizes. Thank you for watching.